Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lisa Kello giving you another dilemma episode. Guys, I'm reading these dilemmas in my head. I cannot believe it. I still cannot believe it. But anyways, I'm here with my girl, Nora. Please don't forget to follow her on Instagram. Guys, we are going to be dissecting some very, very interesting dilemmas, guys. So please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, guys. If you have dilemmas, please send them to my email or to my Instagram, guys. Don't be a stranger. If you have my number, send it to my number. And let us get to it. Dilemma number one. My best friend and I have been close for 15 years. I saw her through her singleness but did not feel anything for her. She then got a boyfriend and has two children with him. As time went on I started catching feelings for her and I know she is the one. I have told her but she states she is happy with her partner but I can't help but fall in love with her every time we hang out. Her relationship is a bit on the rocks and I want to take this as an opportunity to show her that I am the man for her. How do you think I should go about this? Mate, like, is there no other women around no, you that you had to go and choose the one in the committed one in relationship a... with children involved? I've, I've always been someone that's not really like, I'm like, oh yeah, you can have a male best friend. But it's people like you that mm -hmm. make men mm -hmm. refuse their partners to have male best friends because she probably just sees you as a friend. How are you catching now feelings? Seeing... I think the best thing that you should do is if you have feelings for her and you cannot help yourself, distance yourself, give yourself that time to deal and work on yourself and work on those feelings before you can start becoming close to someone. Because if you every time you're falling in love with someone else's girlfriend, what if she decides to marry him then where does that leave you like you have to prepare yourself mentally for the consequences of that for your mental health and when also, don't take drastic steps to try and start breaking up the happy home or of, of any she did say that the relationship is on the rock mm. but they they have potential to work on it because they have kids involved and it's going to be one of those situations if you keep pushing yourself towards her romantically you might end up pushing her away as your friend yeah. because for her this is friendship for you this is romantic and especially if she, their relationship is on the rocks and you feel like you can be superman and, and show her that you are the her. man that she needs to be with a lot mm. of women it might i mean she'll probably see you as a good friend but the moment you start to be romantic while she's still healing she's not going to want to be your friend anymore yeah. to be honest because she's going to feel like you're now like in between her and him and if they start working out and you're there trying to show her that's that's the end of your friendship with her because her partner would have to find out if she's the type of person to tell him or she's just not gonna feel comfortable having you as a friend i think the best thing to do is just leave her let her be in her relationship be her friend and don't make your intentions known for as long as she's in a relationship when she's single when she's healed when she's in a better place if they break up then you can make your intentions known but if they stay together mate and you can't help yourself just switch, switch. there's so I many things also the best thing is um if you feel like you can't handle your feelings just leave it as a whole let her deal with what she needs to deal with because also the distraction is not going to help her keeping the priority being her kids so she needs to look after her kids because she has kids with him. Whether their their relationship is rocky or it's perfect, she needs to look out for her kids and for herself. So if you feel like you can't handle it and you, your edges are much stronger than what you can handle, just walk. Keep walking. <laughs> yeah, I don't disagree with that. And I wanna know what do you guys think as well? It's a bit of a it's not a tricky one, but it's one of those that it's like it can go either way, isn't it? What do you guys think? If me and Nora haven't said anything, if we said anything that you guys wanna add to, please put it in the comments. Um, but I like your advice, that's really, really good. And with that being said, we are going to dilemma number two. So a few months ago, I walked in on my husband sleeping with a co-worker in our bed who he still works with. We patched things up and I know he certainly isn't cheating. 
Now, out of revenge, I started sleeping with his best friend. And at first, it was a in-your-face to can play that game. But now I am really in love with him. He comes over with his wife. We all go out for dinner, and my husband has no clue. Is it normal for me to feel this way? Wow. That, wait. Are you sure that's your husband's best friend, or are they just friends for convenience? Because to sleep with your best friend's wife, I do not. Is is a bit is and a if bit he's married, much. How does he feel himself if his wife was doing that as well? I think it's it's strange for you to fall in love with your husband's best, best friend. friend because what it's just one of those dynamics where have you have, were those feelings always there and suddenly because you're sleeping together it sparked them? I don't think that I don't know if you if you really think about how you feel. Is it really love or is it just spite? You know, mm -hmm. because maybe you're just confusing how you feel because of what what you're doing yeah. rather than the fact that you are actually in love with this person and i'm just thinking if you love this person how do you feel about your partner like have you ever taken the time with yourself to think how do i feel about my husband and how do i feel about his best friend um and it's really sad that both you and your husband are in a relationship where you're stepping out on each mm -hmm. other and i don't know if there's communication between you and him or there's counseling or any form of accountability that's been mm. because this is this is weird cheating is not part of ups and downs in a relationship so if he cheated that was really a red flag for you now you're cheating you're also becoming a red flag a red flag you. it's like two wrongs don't make a right and i think that why would you do this out of your yeah like <sighs> it's 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 if you if you feel like you need to step out of your relationship to get back at the other person i think the wisest thing to do is just leave the person to be honest because now you're you're now you've just made it worse because you probably felt bad about the fact that he cheated on you now you probably feel worse about the fact that now you're with his best friend and you're having feelings for him and you guys spend time together and his wife doesn't know i think yeah. open up like that's the oh, one one of the best things the the key to peace is just tell your partner and at least you know that it's out there yeah. don't tell him that you're in love with his best friend obviously i think that's up to you but i think your partner should know what what's happened in the same way you know what happened with him and his co-worker and then that's it like you guys decide that's to true. go to counseling you end the relationship she and i just wonder to. what his friendship will be like with his, his best, best friend, friend yeah. sometimes you say your best friend is your worst enemy <laughs> i now see <laughs> Yeah, it's a, I very, very much worry for their friendship and yeah, they, you guys definitely need counselling. But yeah, this was a bit of a difficult one, guys. What do you guys think? Please put in the comments. I'm really, yeah, that one is speechless. <laughs> and guys, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Um, and see you guys in my next Dilemma video. Bye.